the sump removal on this Mazda 2015 Mazda 6. Very simplistic. They're um, all easy bolts to get at. So, and the sump, oh, one second, set up there. We can actually see there that it's very easy to get at all the bolts, even in around the gearbox. So there's no disassembly at all, other than about 15 or 18 bolts, okay? Sump comes down nice and easy at that point. What we're changing is, this is our, in order to stop the big end bear and go, we're changing this gauze sitting here. There's two bolts sitting in here at the sides. That actually might be a little bit more awkward to get in at that one in there. Okay. Follow on, I'll disassemble and go and change and then follow on there in a second, okay? This seems to be one of the most stupid designs I've ever seen with the bolt that's in there. It, it won't come out. One second. It won't come out because of this piece. So the bolt is, it has to come out this way. And it can't. So this really simplistic bit of plastic down here is not interchangeable. Not anyway, easy anyway. I have to disassemble and take this whole piece down out of it and then split the oil pump here and take off the timing chain by the looks of it. Now it's not, well, it's not the whole actual timing of the engine timing chain. It's only a, a chain going from the crankshaft to the oil pump. I'm hoping that I can crack that nut here and the tensioner itself will go back when I push on it here. We'll see oil starting to dribble out of it when I go back. So the chain will come loose if I push the tensioner back and I'll slack on this pulley. And when I slack on that pulley then I will take off this pickup pipe that goes two bolts on here, two bolts on here to start. Then I'm going to pull out all these bolts around here and I hope the whole thing will come down and then disassemble, okay? That's what I have to do for this silly couple of minutes bit of plastic. All right, unfortunately, here goes. The only way I crack that nut was I put a large pliers around, squeeze it on to the top of the chain and then I put, because I'm going, Two-handed. There's a longer spanner than that. I'm going to put a spanner on that, and it loosens anti-clockwise. Okay, so that chain comes off. Okay, it's anti-clockwise. That bolt comes out, just in case. Okay, pump removed. Sitting down here. I think as I pointed out, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, and that's where that steel gauze that came down around. My gauze is white cake up there. It's been changed to bring back my oil pressure. Now onto the disassembly. I have the bolt is in there and the sheet can't come out so I have to disassemble or separate the pump into two halves to change this piece. So now for the disassembly. Okay, remember this is upside down but we have one, two, three size 10 millimeter bolts sitting there. And then once that's done, it separates or splits the big shaft or the shaft that drives the pump itself runs through this thing and it comes out. Okay, so it's all relatively easy but kind of daunting, I suppose, to just change the fucking gauze. Maybe we can get in at our bolts. Okay, let's change it. That's our back together bolt tight. As I said, they're bolt. Bolt, 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 a little pipe in the back, how you go looking? Sealer, sealer on the sump. Reassembled, sealer and not much to see but change the washer on the sump plug or the sump I'm actually missing a grommet. I'm going to clip there. She is back together. Give her a start and see what the story is.